that's that's probably accurate. She's she's tremulous. Damn. Not afraid of mutants, huh? What do you mean you can't You're open the gate? Kind of Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Damn. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. <gasps> I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. You open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. I know you're listening, Danny. Open the gate. You. You want into Diamond City, right? What? Who are you? Shh. Play along. What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in? Or are you gonna be the one talking to crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on with the bluff. Sounds good. Let's go. Another great day in Diamond City. Piper! Who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped for parts. Ooh, that a statement, Mr. McDonough? Tyrant mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. Always believed in freedom of the press. Oh, I... I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, good sir. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? I'm sure your city's a great place. <laughs> yeah. Greatest house of cards in the Commonwealth. Until the wind blows. <laughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? What is this place, anyway? Why, this is the safest place in all the Commonwealth. With the strongest community and the highest standards of living available. We have stores, doctors, schools, power, running water, and the wall as our sacred protector. You'll learn more about the wall soon, I'm sure. But I was talking about you! Come on now, what brought you all the way out here? I'm trying to find someone. Trying to find someone? Who? My son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Wait, your son's missing? Oh, you hear that, McDonough? What's Diamond City Security doing to help this man, huh? This isn't the first missing persons report to come through here, and now we have an infant who's been taken? Oh, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. I hope so. This is ridiculous. Diamond City security can't spare one officer to help. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security never investigates any I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. Hmm, <laughs> a big Diamond City welcome from the mayor. You feel honored yet? Look, I gotta go get settled in, but, um... Stop by my office later. 
I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect for. Head on inside. Newcomer, huh? Talk to Abbott at the wall. I cut my hair myself, and I know human hair. That's just it, Johnny. You wouldn't be able to tell the difference. You Nick McDonough with your race. Protection for sale! Hand pulled pieces! Diamond City surplus! Everything you need. Enough of that. Look, we're safe on this side of the wall. It's all that matters. Another, uh, another good one. Free paper to newcomers. If the Institute grabs you in the night, at least we warned you. Thanks. I guess. I'm serious. The Institute takes people. You should read up if you're sticking around. The Institute? You ain't heard of the Institute, mister? They snatch people up in the night and no one hears from them again. It's all in the paper. Better read up before they grab you, too. Who's gone missing? Drifters, residents, stadium seat snobs. Seems every year or so, someone's gone. And we all know why. So you better be careful, newcomer. The Institute is out there. And they'll grab you, too. Like I said, it's all in the paper. 
I believe you. Thanks. You are a real lost lamb in the wolf's den, mister. So what are you doing in Diamond City anyway? I came here looking for someone. Let me guess. That someone's gone missing, right? That's what I'm telling you. So who is it? I'm looking for Sean. He's my son. Less than a year old. You have a son, mister? Man, you're old. You're in bad luck. No one tries to find missing people in Diamond City. Missing people means the Institute is involved. And no one's going to want to get the Institute's attention. You're a smart kid. Isn't there someone in town who isn't afraid of this Institute? Well, there's the detective, Mr. Nick Valentine. He's not afraid of anything. If anyone's gonna help you, it's him. Thanks. You were a big help. Remember, the Institute's out there, newcomer. Watch your back. So, extra, uh, extra. This is your neighbor really human? Here. We, we have big We don't really make any caps. And, uh, there are, uh... Well, some people help me stay in the air. People like, uh... Like this. A portion of this broadcast has been brought to you by the Mega Surgery Center. Now featuring facial reconstructive surgery. Oh, that's nice. Why settle for less than perfection? Adam Bomb Baby is next. It's, uh, it's by the Five Stars, in case you were, were wondering and didn't already know because they didn't played it before. Got a question? You should talk to Sullivan. Drop by. You holding up, Blue? You won't believe what's in the next issue. Just you wait.
Hey, Piper. Holding up, Blue? Yeah, holding up. Look, I'm just gonna say it. You're a vault dweller. You might not be wearing the blue jumpsuit, but the Pip-Boy and that fish out of water look, dead giveaways. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. What kind of interview is this gonna be? I ask you who you are, get your opinion on life out there, and maybe load up a few tough questions and keep it interesting. What do you say? All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? Why is that important? I'm here now, aren't I? I told you, this is a perspective piece. People in Diamond City need to know you're from a different world than them. So, what was the vault like? My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. W wait, <laughs> They boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? The war? Which war? The one that gave us this lovely landscape of demolished buildings and nuclear radiation every ten feet? You're telling me you saw everything before they blasted it into pieces? Yes. I'm over 200 years old. <laughs> oh my god. The man out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? Can you even compare the two? The world out here? It's not even close to the one I left. Feeling a little homesick, are we? Can't say I blame you. Now I already know you're looking for your son, Sean. Do you suspect the Institute was involved in his kidnapping? The Institute? Who were they? That, Blue, is the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth. No one really knows who or where they are, but their handiwork is all over. Synths. Synthetic people, sent from their hidden labs to do the Institute's dirty work. Sometimes they even replace a person with a synth double. A little covert agent no one would ever suspect. Now, not everything that goes wrong has the Institute behind it, but there's always a chance. That's why I'm asking. They make synthetic people? That's right. There are two major kinds you have to watch out for. The first is an obvious fake. Skin looks like plastic, skeleton might even be showing. You see groups of them scouring the Commonwealth, killing people and scavenging what's left. I reported on University Point a while back. <laughs> Whole town got cleaned out. The second type of synth is the real deal. With skin, blood, <laughs> warm smiles and guilty glances, just like a good old-fashioned human. So do you think they could be involved? The Institute or one of their agents? Sure sounds like they might be. Not even a baby is safe from them. <laughs> and people wonder why I can't just look the other way. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? Wait. People just ignore kidnappings out here? <laughs> yeah, Blue. You haven't noticed? You grow up in the Commonwealth and eventually someone is gonna get taken. <laughs> Maybe not someone you know, but someone. And people just say, well, could have been worse. Could have been killed by raider attacks or super mutants or feral ghouls. <laughs> they just give up. So I want my readers to hear what keeps you going. Maybe they'll find a little inspiration. Now, what would you like to say? No matter how much you want to give up, don't. You have to have hope that you'll see them again. Or at least, that you'll know the truth. A strong note to end on, Blue. Thanks. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, 
I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where the story goes next. Most folks are just looking for a hand. And that was Frankie Carl there. Well, I mean, I guess it was actually not. Hmm. What's that for? Uh, never mind. Here's a thing. A, a sort of a note, I guess, um, from a sponsor here in Diamond City. And I'll, um, I'll, 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 I'll just read it. John and Kathy Super Salon invites you to try out the latest innovations in hairstyles. Look good. Make people jealous. Oh. Now here's, uh, Anything Goes by Cole Porter. I mean, I would play Anything by Cole Porter, but I'll, this is Anything Goes by Cole Porter. What gave you the idea we're friends? I'll try to make myself useful. <laughs> no one wants to see a grown man feeling sorry for himself.
This has been a pre-recorded message. Message repeats in three seconds. Help! They're gonna kill me. This has been a pre-recorded message. Message repeats in three seconds. Help! They're gonna kill me. <laughs>